the son of Helen Holland, who has died aged 81 after being hit by a police motorcycle escorting Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, has claimed the police have not issued any apology since the incident, according to ITV. Martin Holland said the police killed his mum and claimed the force have offered no updates on whether the motorbike driver will face any charges. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. Mrs. Holland, described as a pure and kind woman, was reportedly thrown 40 feet into the air when she was hit by the motorbike on West Cromwell Road and Warwick Road in Earls Court on the afternoon of May 10. According to her son she was left fighting for her life for nearly two weeks while doctors and nurses repaired her broken body in intensive care. He added, Police killed my mum. The police have not issued any comment or apology and we assume that the killer is still on the loose. Riding a police motorcycle and we fear now for the safety of others. A spokesperson from Buckingham Palace said, The Duchess of Edinburgh is deeply saddened to hear that Helen Holland has passed away. Her Royal Highness's deepest condolences and sympathies go to all of Ms. Holland's family. The IOPC, Independent Office for Police Conduct, Regional Director Amanda Rowe said on May 19, Our thoughts are with the woman, who has sustained life-threatening injuries, and her family. We have been in touch with them to explain our role and will keep them regularly updated as the investigation progresses. The police watchdog have confirmed they will be conducting an investigation into the crash. Mr. Holland told the BBC that his mother died after sustaining multiple broken bones and massive internal injuries. He said she fought for her life for nearly two weeks. But irreversible damage to her brain finally ended the battle today, adding that she was crossing the road safely using a pedestrian crossing when she was hit. The IOP said on May 19 that it was appealing for witnesses to come forward and had taken nearby CCTV from properties in the area for examination. Chief Superintendent Richard Smith, who is the head of the Met Police's Royalty and Specialist Protection Unit, said the tragic outcome is being felt by colleagues across the Met, 